his stepdaughter dance for him, mm -hmm. he had to give up John the Baptist's head. Yes. Okay? Because it had a certain effect. What when we use our gifts, our gifts are supposed to minister, right? Break strongholds, set the captive free, right. deliver all, all of these things. Spiritual. And right. And that's why I said we have to be careful how we use the gift. I agree with you. I've been at a church that had the praise dancers. The girl lift her leg up, didn't have no tights on underneath, just saw pure underwear. Yes, I've been there too. Okay. Okay. There were five hundred pounds. Every, every one of them was a five hundred pound. I'm sitting in the pulpit. Me and Bishop Terry. Never forget it. Okay. And uh, he said, James, that girl ain't got no. She, she, she's showing all her button panties. <laughs> now, they weren't attractive women, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> so ain't nobody won. <laughs> there was no temptation. There was no lust. <laughs> Get me right. It was five hundred okay. pounds piece. I got you, <laughs> But it was disgusting. Help me. Help me. Like, <laughs> they don't know. what There was no tights to fit them. Yeah. I mean, is that kind I, of stuff? I understand what you're saying. Is, is, is that kind of stuff? Yeah. Talent? And, and, and are we supposed to be entertained? Are, are you supposed no. to go in there, Super Saint, mm -hmm. and entertain us on Sundays? Or are you supposed to minister to us? It's supposed to be. It's a ministry. Okay. I mean, some do go in there to entertain, but that's right. the difference in dancing mm -hmm. under the anointing and just going up there. Okay, so okay, so when they start clapping for Super mm -hmm. Saint, uh -huh. clap, clap, clap. Uh -huh. Oh, girl, go, Super Saint. Go, Super Saint. Go. Right. Are you... Are you moved by that, or are you not moved by that? I'm not, because I, I don't feed into that, because I've been places where they'll get up, clap, and what we do other places, they just said, they may shake their head, they may say amen, but God, I'm giving this back to you, because you place right. this in me, so I don't look for a reaction out of other people. I pray someone's life is touched, you know, when I minister through dance, but I don't go expect Amen. Amen. And, 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 but, and, and it's, it's preaching. I was going to go there with you. Mm -hmm. Come on. A gift Come on. or a talent. Preaching is a gift from the Lord. There's no doubt about it. It's mm -hmm. a gift. But watch this though. Okay. Th this is what I told my people this past Sunday. My job is not to thrill you. My job is to make sure you get filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because some people still will look at preaching as entertaining because we, we've been trained. We know how to take our voices up. Mm -hmm. We know how to bring our voices down. Mm -hmm. We know how to hoop. We, 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 we know how to appeal. I, I am a very illustrative preacher. Yes. So I use different props and different things. And, and, and how God pours or his Holy Spirit pours through me, that's just me. I'm very energetic. You, you've seen that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So for some people, that may be entertaining. But I'm trying to get you to entertain the Holy Spirit. I'm trying to get you to to see what God is showing you, what mm -hmm. is God saying to you, though it may be inspirational, though it may be exciting, because no matter what happens, we still deal with these three entities. We deal with the lust of the eyes so we can interpret things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the way we want to, regardless if that's the way it is. The, the, the pride of life, what I'm get out of this for me, and the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. And so when you, I think when you deal with all of those things, you have to understand, my, my late man of God shared with me, he said, this is where preachers have to be careful. Don't, don't ever put yourself in a position as, as, a, as a star or as a celebrity, even though people may treat you that way, mm -hmm. uh, you still have to understand your assignment is a messenger. Right, right. But but see, man, but you know, I, I, got I, I don't know, man. I, I, see, I don't know, man. Come on. Come on. Ah, <laughs> right. Lord, I no. You. <laughs> you know. Right. I got and, you. And, 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 and I mean, I guess that's fine uh, for back in the day, but if you're not teaching me in there, there it is. There it is. You know. You're you know. Right. And, 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 and so tell me about that. I mean, is. Hooping, mm -hmm. biblical, super saint. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll let your daddy come in. Is, is, is hooping is biblical? It. Have I seen that word verbatim in the Bible? No, but uh. so, Mama, <laughs> did Jesus uh, say the words uh, "Rejoice with them that do rejoice"? Uh, then keep them. Uh, uh, uh -huh. That week, 
I mean, is that how he spoke in those days? Not that, not that I know to get people's attention. I mean, made the word plain, but if he did, I mean, was I that find it very, anointed, I though? find it very entertaining. Sure. And to I love a good who. Right, mm-hmm. right. You know? Right. But is it changing lives? But mm-hmm. beyond all the hooping and hollering, are you hearing? Hooping and hollering. Oh, and hollering. You, you mean they hoop and holler? <laughs> <laughs> but beyond all of that, are you hearing what the pastor is teaching? Why? Right. From your historical understanding, Come on. was hooping a part of the, the sermon? I think for some, it, it's a style. Okay. It's a style. It's a style. Okay. You have different styles of preaching. You have liturgical uh, preachers that 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 are more uh, sort of. It, it's a style where you you you're more essayic, where you you. It's like reading an essay, and then you have yep, those yep, yep. that are more charismatic. You know, okay. they they flow. They really operate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and then you have those that have a teaching style, right? You know, but I think more so than anything else, the element and the content of of what you're saying. Okay, okay. That that's the thing. So if I'm hooping, and you're a hooper, yeah, you're a hooper, right? Mm-hmm. Stand on chairs, but and everything. but <laughs> but I make sure that the there's a clarion sound concerning the message. Is it that you get excited about preaching the word mm-hmm. that you get into that 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 vein of preaching or is it intentional? I would I would say yes, I do get yes excited. Yes. I would say yes, I do get excited because okay. e- even here you've seen me talk and and the fact when you start talking about preaching that's just in my spirit. Yes. And so it don't take nothing Yes. To, to get me going. Come on, Doc. See, you, said, <laughs> <laughs> you just set me up. See, because I, 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 I think there's a passion. Yeah. And when there's a passion with something, that comes out. Okay. There, there's no way you can be passionate about a gift or even a talent and, 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 and not allow that expression to come out. Yes. Okay? Yes. You see what I'm saying? But, but I think it is important, though, to not be so... Theomatical in terms of your, what was that word? <laughs> theomatical. Theomatical, like theatrics. Right. right. Okay. Theatrics. Okay. okay. Theatrical. Gotcha. Right. And 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 not be clear. Right. On the delivery of of the word of God that they should be getting because I can do a whole lot. That's what I'm talking about. Being thrilled, but being but not being filled. Right. And then people leave. Man, he sure preached. He good. Sure what did what preach. did he say? I don't know, oh, but it no. sure was good. Then I I've missed it. Okay. I, I've missed it. So my man of God taught us so many different styles, so many different ways, and he had me study other preachers. So so in 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 talents. Right. Are talents a, a gift also, or is it something that you learn? How how do you define a talent? Super saint. Okay, get her. Get her. Well, well, when you ask, um, is that something that you learned? Like, mine, I didn't know about it. My cousin taught us that, like our group that we had. So would I have known to do some of the movements? I mean, maybe, but mm-hmm. that was a learned skill. Mm-hmm. So that's why I feel that's more so of a talent. I mean, I feel it was in me, but still, that was something that had to be taught be, to me. Be taught and, and, and brought out, and of, brought you. out mm-hmm. of you. And, and when you were, were, were dancing and miming, um, you said that the the anointing would would fall on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What was the difference? What would be the the when you knew? Okay, you're 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 miming, right. but then the anointing fell. Right. What occurred when that happens? Wow, mm-hmm. everything. I mean, when the spirit comes in, you're dancing under the anointing. You may have moves that you practice, but when the spirit comes in, it's like. God just takes over. Okay. For me, it's like a, a fresh wave of wind just comes through. Wow. Like my body will begin to tremble. 
And it's just something I just see like a light. Like, mm-hmm. God, you just shining down. This is you I'm dancing for. Right. So it's just what I feel, how I know when I'm dancing under the anointing. And I know when I am, because there's times, I wouldn't say I've danced under flesh, but times yeah. where, okay, God, this wasn't me. This, right. You know, or it was me, like, God, okay, wait, wait a minute. But when I'm dancing right. under the anointing with right. him, it's just a different so, feel. So, okay, so when you're dancing under the anointing, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you're not doing the running man. No. <laughs> oh, the old oh, Flynn. <laughs> Yeah, and the Michael Jackson movie. <laughs> oh, the Nay Nay. Oh, the Nay Nay. That doesn't happen during. <laughs> but it could. Could that not happen? Could, could doing the Nay Nay happen in the middle of, of, of mine? It, it could have. But it's more of a worship feel because worship. I feel like there's times where there's things that I've practiced and it went a totally different direction. Because mm-hmm. I felt like I wasn't even myself. I seen it on, mm. on camera and it's like, oh, I did that? Did that? Like, wow, something completely different that wow. I didn't even practice. Wow. So, mm-hmm. wow. Yeah, so even through that skill, you wow. know. So, Pastor. Yes, sir. At Tragedy Triumph, mm-hmm. you have this boot camp. Yes. And I know you're you're looking at certain traits and oh, yeah. qualities. Absolutely. How do you find the mm-hmm. gifts? Mm-hmm. How do you recognize all these available gifts mm-hmm. in your congregation through boot camp. Is that okay. like, how, how do you def- define them? I mean, okay. how is an, is there opportunities mm-hmm. for them to to um, uh, prophesy? Is there opportunities for them to mm-hmm. lay hands on the sick? Is there opportunity? Mm-hmm. I mean, how do you judge those things? Right, and 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 you are correct. That's one thing that we do with proper teaching and proper training, uh, I give them an opportunity to sit down with me one-on-one and share with me what the Lord has been saying concerning them and concerning their lives. And I'll also uh, give them uh, what God has showed me. And I, Because as a shepherd, the Bible says a shepherd ought to know the sheep. And, and he, he said, these sheep only your voice they will follow okay. because I am the God representative mm-hmm. for those that are under this ministry. God has assigned them to me and my care is supposed to lead them in the way of truth and righteousness. So I I, I have to be laying before God as well to uh, discern what gifts that they have because remember the Bible says even we can try the spirit by the spirit. A lot of times, I think some gifts come out with what appears to be accident. They didn't even know that they had them, but I've just been observing that, that, you know what, this thing seems to irritate this this person. Uh, You know, well, you know what, Pastor, I don't like the fact when people come in, there's nobody standing at the door. Well, maybe you have the gift of helps, since you don't like the fact when when people come in, nobody's at the door. Mm-hmm. How about you serve as a greeter? Now, now is is helps a gift? I think helps is a gift. Uh, or is helps mm-hmm. a part of an operation or the administration of the church? I think it could go both because you have some people that just have a genuine anointing in dealing with people. Me, I love people. I, you could put me on an island somewhere mm-hmm. where I don't know nobody. I guarantee you, just give me a few minutes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to know somebody. Right. You right, see what I'm saying? Right, because right, right. I think God gives us a love and a compassion for people. Watch this. Let's go back to Jeremiah 3.15. God said, I gave you pastors after my own heart. you got to love people. If you're going to pass them. That's right. You see what That's I'm right. saying? If you want to be a leader. Right. right. If you're going to be a leader. You want to be right. a, a loving person. You, you, I agree. You, you, you have to be. So I think we have to look at ground zero stuff first. Right. If you don't love people, you, I know you probably ain't been called. Right. Guy. Right. But, but I, th- I think my point, the point I was right. trying to reach was mm-hmm. everything isn't a gift. Right. Some are talents. Okay. And, and, and because I'm, I'm, as I'm not looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Right. In, in verse um, a one, mm-hmm. I, I thought it was interesting. He says, "Now concerning spiritual gifts, right, brethren, gotcha. That word gifts wasn't mm-hmm. in the original text. Mm-hmm. 
it really read like this. Now concerning spiritual brethren, mm -hmm. right, I have not you be ignorant. So mm -hmm. some of us as spiritual brethren, right, okay, have these gifts or these abilities. That's correct. Because in verse 4 it says, mm -hmm. now there are diversities right. of gifts, Different, right. but the mm -hmm. same spirit. There you go. And there are differences right. of administration, mm -hmm. but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operation, but it's the same God which worketh all in all. And so right. I, as I look at that, I see, okay, mm -hmm. it always says, they, he always combines gifts and mm -hmm. healing together. That's correct. Gifts and healing. Mm -hmm. he always, you read it, he says, right. he says, gifts of healing by there the same go. spirit. So like you said, you have mm -hmm. the gift of healing. Yeah. That is a legitimate, correct, biblically correct statement. Absolutely. It is a gift. It's a gift. The chick at the door, mm -hmm. she may have the mm -hmm. diversity or the administration right. or the ability right. to be patient at the door. There you go. You know, you know what I'm saying. That loving spirit. That loving, that loving spirit. She may have the fruits of the spirit to, to, hand, to handle there that. There you go. Mm -hmm. But the gifts mm -hmm. of God mm -hmm. um, are, are are quite different. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, the gifts of God gets people's attention. It really does. You know. And that's the first thing they're gonna see when they come in. Right. You know. That happened to me, Apostle. I went to some church, as my dad would say, somewhere in the United States. The first thing I came in, ushered up the door, I asked for a program. She said, what you need a program for? <laughs> I said, well, I guess I don't need one. Now, if I didn't understand uh, people's spirit, I mm -hmm. would have been offended by the church and not that individual. Right. So... I'm not going to indict the church right. because of an individual. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. She 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 knew she 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 needs another dip. Right. <laughs> Cuz she didn't have it. Right. The spirit was nasty. Mhm. Mm what you mean? <laughs> That's what possibly. And don't tell me she had him in her hand. <laughs> she had him in her hand. I don't know. <laughs> was you with me, honey? Was you with no, me? No, but you told that story yeah. and I can visualize. I kid you I not, Apostle. Mean. Mm -hmm. But but in in fairness, watch this. The pastor of that house also was me. Mm -hmm. And so that that's one thing too that we that we have to be careful. Whatever God has placed in the house, yes, yes. what's on that shepherd yes. begins to flow down. Because I tell my people, this is what I should always see out of them being very loving. Because mm -hmm. their pastor and first right. lady is very right. loving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Being diligent and committed. Because we are very diligent and committed. Yes. And be serious about serving God. Be serious about your own personal relationship with God. And 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 be eager to serve. Because that's what we do. Apostle, I serve my people every which way possible. I know how. We right. just I, I just came up with something for uh, boot camp where you you give them the syllabus. But out of the syllabus, I even identify what I'm looking for in that text and give you the page number. Mm -hmm. So it's no way you can miss that. Right. I'm telling you what I'm looking for, and I'm giving you the page number where it is. That That's not so much to make it easy for you, mm -hmm. but also at, at the same time, I want to see if you're going to apply diligence and commitment. Right. That's one of the reasons some people, why well, you got to charge for the God. It ain't about charge for the God. It's about an investment. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. Come on now. Money, 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 <laughs> money. <sir. laughs> All these churches <laughs> want is your <laughs> money. <laughs> I was talking to a gentleman today over mm -hmm. lunch. Mm -hmm. I won't speak with what denomination he is. Mm hmm. But he says, you know, we have over a hundred thousand churches wow. in the United States. Mm -hmm. Wow. We have publications mm -hmm. in two hundred and four different languages. Mm -hmm. We print the Bible in a hundred and nine different languages. Mm -hmm. And I said, Man, your church 
churches really must tithe and, right. and give offerings. Mm -hmm. He says, we don't tithe, nor mm -hmm. do we give offerings. Mm -hmm. We give voluntarily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, "You." He said, "You know your church." On, he said, "The church I saw on the news where the lady got kicked out, ninety-three years old, because yeah, she didn't tithe, yeah. and they kicked her out of the church." <laughs> yes. He, he said, "You know the other church down in the Atlanta area <laughs> mm -hmm. that if, when you stop tithing, they send you a bill." Mm -hmm. I, won't, yeah. I won't name the church, Doctor Crepola. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I didn't name the church. Send you a bill. Send you, send you a, a bill. bill. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. They will send you a bill. Mm -hmm. Wow. You you didn't give. Mm -hmm. We sent you a bill. He says. When their congregants are in need, mm -hmm. they go immediately mm -hmm. and help them. He says, you know, when Katrina and mm -hmm. tsunamis and all those things hit around the world, right. we're first responders. We're there. Wow. That's a wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, somebody got to be getting paid right. in your organization. Yeah. He says, nobody, absolutely nobody in the organization gets a check. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Everything is done on a voluntary mm -hmm. basis. I was surprised to hear that. I was surprised to hear that. And of course, they had churches all over the, not only mm -hmm. just in the United States, but all over the world. And that caught my ear mm -hmm. because I always believe that God has freely given right. you the message. Yes. Why are you charging me mm -hmm. in the form of a book, a tape, a CD, or DVD? Right. When God gave you this message, Mm -hmm. To freely give, and there are organizations out there that do this, and the organ and he says they pay off their their church buildings, no debt, debt free, mm -hmm. and they manage billions of dollars, and no no kind of scandal or anything of that nature. I was very impressed with that. Yeah, me too. I was very I was very impressed with that. And see what I what I've come to conclude. Mm -hmm is that we are mm -hmm. sometimes influenced mm -hmm. by other things we've seen. We've been influenced. You know, oh, well, shoot. Mm -hmm. Daddy did it this way. So-and-so right. did it this way. So-and-so did it. I got to do it that way. Right. You know, I'm waiting for a brother to step out like, like us in our organization right. and say, I ain't charging nobody for nothing. They give. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even. I don't even collect tithes. If they if they give voluntarily, they give voluntarily. And every dime they give, I put back into the ministry. Mm -hmm. I put back until, until it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. Mm -hmm. Now that's a sign that God is with you. Because mm -hmm. he said nobody in our church is rich. Wow. Nobody yeah. in our church is rich. No. Everybody is 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 of you know middle class, lower middle class mm -hmm. means. His whole point was that mm -hmm. we do it as G we do it the way Jesus did it. Mm -hmm. That was his his point. Right. And so I find that to be to be interesting mm -hmm. that such an organization like that exists. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. probably know who the organization is. Mm -hmm. But I thought that was pretty yes. fascinating. Oh, absolutely. All the things that they do. Mm -hmm. And they're Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jehovah Witnesses. Yeah, they, they don't. They don't. They don't play. And what I find interesting, Pastor, you talk about this. Right. Mm -hmm. I over the years, mm -hmm. I heard, I, I hear less criticism mm -hmm. of the Jehovah Witness. Right. I hear less criticism. I hear mm -hmm. more. One thing they do do, they get out there and witness. They, they, do. they go door to door. Yes. You know, they they do do that. Yeah. I mean, we from time to time with our gifts and our talents, sure. we we do things, but. Not every week. We no. ain't out there. No. No. Because it's so easy now. You can sit at your house, social media, and all of these other methods. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, it shouldn't take away from the the authentic method that right. God gave us. Go ye there for, for the, all the world. the world. Now, let me ask you this, yes. Pastor. Mm -hmm. It concerns us, me and you, I'm sure, oh, yes. about Judgment Day. Absolutely. When Jesus says to mm -hmm. those who came to him, right. in your name, That's true. I cast out demons because I had a gift. Right. I healed people. I had a gift. Right. Mm -hmm. I did all this in your name. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says to them, yeah. I never 
knew you. Absolutely. I never knew you. Absolutely. He says I was hungry. You ain't give me. You ain't give mm-hmm. me no no food. I was thirsty. You ain't give me no drink. I was in prison. You never come visit mm-hmm. me. I was in. I was naked. You never clothed me. Mm-hmm. And he goes on and on. Mm-hmm. But then he says to you, Pastor, you clothed me. When did I clothe you? You yeah. fed me. When did I feed you? That's right. You you gave that's me some right. drink. Why you some drink? He says when you done it to the least. The least. That's right. Of them, you've done it unto me. That's correct. That's correct. You've done it unto me. So, is it? True that mm-hmm. here we can go into mm-hmm. get saved, yeah. sanctified, and full of the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. and don't do nothing mm-hmm. to help others, and we can walk into heaven mm-hmm. or walk in that or walk into the kingdom. Is that possible? I don't think it's possible for this reason. Mm-hmm. Whatever God gives us, Come on, he expects us to use that. Yes. God wants everything that he paid for through his son. Yes. Uh, because the thing that we have to be careful of, if God has given us a commandment and we don't do it, then it's looked at as disobedience. And the Bible says that disobedience is like rebellion. And rebellion is, is connected somewhat to, to witchcraft. For him that knoweth. To do it good and do it if not, it is a sin. We have to understand, uh, go back to even Genesis. God said, I created you in my own image. I wanted you to be fruitful and multiply. That went beyond just having children. But God wanted us to do uh, to multiply who he is, what he represented, the message, and how he wanted his people to live their lives. And so that's why he said, I, I, I give you all of these things because there is a use for it. There's a direction. There's a course of action. Uh, look at what happened mm. with the disciples. Jesus would get upset with them. Look, how long must I tarry with you? I'm teaching you. I'm training you. And you still not get. You know what? I know why. Because of your lack of faith. Mm. And so, uh. and, and so, see, we, we, we have to understand that we can't just get saved and get filled with the Holy Spirit. So, okay, God, I'm I'm good now. Who did we help? Come on. Who did we bless? That's what I want to get to. Who did we help? Who did we bless? Come on. God causes us to be a blessing. Our assignment is to be, to be a, be a blessing. blessing. That's the connection. Now, watch this. It's, it's something that you said about talents. Her son. Her when I mean earth, son, I'm talking about the one that helped Moses mm-hmm. hold up the, the, uh, the his arms. Right. His son, God gave a talent how to use and carve silver and gold and, and rocks and all that. And and the talent was, was such a blessing. All those that, that came to help him, they were blessed too. God gave him what he needed to accomplish that. And so you have to understand, if God gives you something, it's to be used. God created me not to just sit there saying, well, God, I'm loaded, but I'm not going to use what he gave me. Now, watch this. He even serious about his praise. If God made you a praiser and a worshiper and you don't want to praise and worship, he said, you know what? I ain't studying you. I'll get this rock to cry. To cry. Come on. Come on. So God doesn't give us anything that he doesn't want used. So God, has he placed in all of us a gift and a talent? I believe he has. But it's up to us how we use it. And when he's given us these talents and we don't use them, what do you think happens? Give it to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Is, that biblical? Is that biblical superstar? <laughs> <laughs> well, can I quote the scripture? No. But <laughs> I think you can. I think you can. I think There's can. a story. Yes, there is, is a story. See, I knew. Come on. See, the story. Ooh. But as far as where it, it's found, <laughs> you know what? Well, 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 the story's about the talents. Right. Right. That's right. right. And, then, and the master gave one, right. one, one, right. one, 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 uh, two. The other right. one, uh-huh. I mean, three, one, two, right. and one, one. Right. And the one with three and two, they they doubled it. Right. Come on. Right. The one Come with on. one buried it. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure they were talking about they were talking about gold or or, or yeah. talents or silver, sure. but it can still be used today. Mm-hmm. That's right. I mean, if God has given you a a talent mm-hmm. and you don't use it, that's right. Shame on you. Yeah, come on now. Right. 
Amen. Shame on you. And Amen. and I had a gentleman say something to me the other day. I was in a service yesterday, mm-hmm. and he and he used the phrase, "You're like a duck in water." Mm. In other words, you're in your natural environment. Mm-hmm. When you have when you find out what that gift is, it comes natural. There you go. Yeah. And it's your natural environment. You can do this thing. That's right. You feel good about doing this. Thing. Yes, sir. Come on. You know you don't even gotta get right. paid. That's right, because you love to do this thing. Because you mm-hmm. love, you love doing this. Come thing. on, man. Come on. And in the church, I think, Pastor, I think, Super Saint. I mean, help me, mm-hmm. tell, help me if I'm mm-hmm. wrong. We've become motivated by another God. Mm-hmm. I got His you. name is Mammon. Gotcha. The Bible says what? You can't serve two, two masters. masters. True. That's correct. Either you're gonna love the one and hate the other, mm-hmm. or you're gonna hold on to the one. Right. And despise the other. Absolutely. You can't serve God and mammon. Has our churches today mm-hmm. come to a point where they won't do like you do? Right. They, they won't go to Uganda on a dime. I heard that. Showing up. You got to show me. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. You got you to pay true. me to go to Uganda. True. Uh, I got you. I you got know. you. Not believing yeah. that God would provide for you to go absolutely we, we we have to get back to the calling and to the assignment that has to become foremost we remember something that apostle paul said he said this gift in earth and treasure this 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 gift god gives that no man should boast because it's not of us but yes. it's of god so we have to remember whatever god has given us he loaned it to us but he loaned it to us with a purpose. Watch this. God already promised us, I will supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what happens, the flesh time sometimes over, overrides our, our spiritual discernment and trust in mm-hmm. God, that God's really going to do it. I had a firsthand experience when I lost my job from heart attacks. I couldn't go out and earn nothing. nothing. Right. So I had to experience that season of truly trusting, trusting. God. I've been there. That opened there. my eyes like I've never seen yes, before. Yes. It's one thing to say it. Right. It's another thing to drink from that cup. Come on. When you drink from that cup, then you see how pure and 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 how genuine. And, and, and how committed you are right. in believing what God said. Yes. That's why God has to allow some of these things to you come. You got to. You got to. You got to go through. Come on. It, it, you have to be tested. Yes, sir. But I think, man, as I watch some of these guys out here, right. I don't think they've really been tested. Maybe not. Your mindset is, is, is different. God has connected me with people that have drank from similar cups. Yeah. Because it's something about our experiences, it's like a frayed cord. When we come together and, and we hook up, we we, 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 we become intertwined right. with each other. We got them kindred kindred Spirit. spirits, right, right. them soul ties. And so now iron is sharpening iron. I'm growing from what God has done in your life and you ought to grow from what God has done in my life. Right. We God has to bless what belongs to him. Yes. That's why I say a lot of folk are God's creation, but they're not God's children. Yes. Because in order to be God's child, first of all, when, when you spoke, you said, uh, I never knew you. That that that, that word knew means the intimate relationship. Right. right. We have experienced intimacy. God has made love to me. Yes. yes. <laughs> We've consummated this relationship. Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and so when you love a person, Service is automatic yeah. when you really love. Nobody had to tell me, uh, go to work and take care of my family. I love my family. Right. I'm going to do that. You don't have to. My wife never had to wake me up for work. Never. Right. I woke myself up for Amen. work. Amen. Amen. The love woke me up. Amen. And there was days I didn't feel like going. There was days I might have been sick. I said, baby, don't worry about it. I'm going to pack a, a handkerchief in my pocket, do what I need to do because I love y'all. And that's my calling and responsibility to take care of my family. Amen. That's the whole thing. Many, many may say that they've been called, mm-hmm. 
-hmm. but they 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 don't want to be responsible for what God called them to. So now, God, I want to look at the benefit package and not necessarily look at the work. Right. I don't want the work, Lord. What the benefits look yeah, like? Yeah, what the benefits look like? What's, <laughs> what's a salary? What? <laughs> you know, what's I mean, have you ever yeah. gone to a job interview? Don't care about the job. And you say, uh, what, uh, what, how much is paid? That's right. They don't and answer uh, what kind of benefits y'all got? Do you <laughs> think you're going to get hired? No. Is that the first question you got? <laughs> the first question you got. Come on. You know, go it's not going to, it's not going to impress the employer. No. You know, you, you've got your hand up. You know, I mean, we, we are truly mm -hmm. um, living in, in like, the, the last days. We are. We've been saying it for quite some time. And it's said in the last days that, mm -hmm. that men will be lovers of themselves. There you go. Lovers of themselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm finding exploiting or mm -hmm. exploitation of the children of God. I, I see it all over the place. Um, how do we not fall into that into that category? How how do we not fall into that category? Yeah. Well, I mean, you gotta humble yourself to God, because you can mm -hmm. easily fall into that. But mm -hmm. who That's are you truly serving? So yeah, humbleness. Okay. Humble humility. Mm -hmm. Humble on, yourself God. before the great creator. Amen. That that is key. That's and key. and and you start to, now you, you start looking, you see few and few that will humble themselves. Or deny themselves. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> or deny. Ooh. Come on, Pastor. You got You must have preached that last week. <laughs> you know no. what? I, I didn't preach that did I? No, no. I talked no. about the sheep the, within the right, shepherd. Right, mm. right. The sheep within the shepherd. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to deny myself. <laughs> well, I want what I want when I want. Okay. God is good. I mean, God, God should He'll give me the desires of my heart. Why should I deny myself these pleasures? <laughs> you know what? Because one thing Christ says, first of all, if you deny yourself, which means you have to take the focus and attention off of you. Ooh. It can't be about you. Oh, no. But it's got to be about him. Mm -hmm. So as we deny ourselves and take up our cross, which means, Lord, I'm going to take up suffering. I'm going to take up persecution. Come on. Come on. I'm going to take up all of these things that yes. I got to go through because it's making me. Yes. And it's developing me into the vessel. Yes. See, that's why I tell people become a vessel. Yes. Become a vessel. Yes. Because when you become a vessel, you're able to hold and you're able to pour into. Come on. I want both. And see, and see, the Bible tells us. Come on. In in a, in a great house, uh -oh. there are many vessels. Oh, there you go. Some for honor. Yes, sir. And some for dishonor. Yes, sir. In other words, Super Saint, <laughs> in your home, you got some paper plates. There you go. Uh -huh. You got some 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 Ferberware, Fatherware, right, right, you know, right. you know, you know, right. And then you got that fine oh, yeah, china, right. good yes. stuff. Right. Yes. Mama only bring that out on special occasions, right. Right. like That's when right. Apostle James come over, something like that. There you that. go. <laughs> and come so on, and so what and what God shows us in 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 in, in, mm -hmm. in that parable in those come scriptures on, on. is that there are a lot of, of folks. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who are disposable. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. They come to church. Mm -hmm. They come they on. in leadership for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. They you know it's like going to a picnic. You can put some ribs on there. You can put some coleslaw on that plate. I mean you can load that plate up, man. But what do you do when you're done with it? Uh -oh. Throw it away. Mm -hmm. Come on. I ain't seen nobody mm -hmm. wash. A China no. paper plate. Right. I, ain't, I ain't seen it. I ain't seen it. But then in, a, in, in God's house, you mm -hmm. have those who are like a far everyday plate. Right. You know? Right. But the everyday plate is just that. Just that. It's every day. No, no anointing. No, no. No, no nothing. But it, I, I, I do the job. I do the job. I do the job. That's I do the job. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and guess what? When they break, they broke. They go buy it. another one. That's it. But a china plate, mm -hmm. you only bring that out. God That's only right. displays those. That's right. 
after it goes through a process. There you go. A china plate goes through a process. Did you know that? You walk through that. Did you heat. know that heat process heat. a china plate goes through? Did yes, you know Lord. there's bone in that plate? Yes, Lord. Blood Come had on. to be shed to make Come that on. plate. There you go. You Come ever heard on. of bone china? Come on. Well, Come guess on. what? They take that ox, right. they kill it, That's it, and it crushes the bone in the ash. That's it. And so blood had to be spared right. for that. The tree ain't no blood. Mm-mm. The paper right. plate ain't no blood. Right. No. The 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 out clay of, ain't no blood. It's out of fish. <laughs> <laughs> clay ain't no blood. But the china yes. plate. And and that's what we want to be. We mm-hmm. are God's vessels for display. Yes, sir. That's who we are. That's who we are. That's, that's why He gives us gifts. That's right. That's, that's right. why He gives us gifts because He Come trusts on. us. Come on. That when we lay hands on people Come and they on. fall out in the spirit yeah. and all that, you ain't going, oh, look at me. Yeah, don't right. try to take the credit. Right. Look at who. Oh, okay. Yeah. You won't you act like that? Right. I'm going to knock you down right. to an everyday plate. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Everyday vessel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You absolutely. know, we got to be careful with that. We do. Mm-hmm. And, and when God calls us to go to nations. That's right. You know, I hear so many pastors say, God called me to the nations. Okay, okay well, nation that called you. Yeah, that's true. You know, and I've been guilty. I've been yeah. guilty of it. I'm like, do they got Dallas machines over there in India? Yeah, I got, I got the Dallas over there in India. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should say, send me, Lord, I'll go. Right. And he'll cover you. And trust he'll that he will cover me. He'll cover you. Right. That's true. <laughs> you, I, you I, follow I agree. me? Mm-hmm. You're right because you. It's, it's one thing about God I've learned and still learning. Yes. You can trust him with your promotion. Come on. You can trust him with your substance. Yes. But you have to truly trust him and let him do it. That's why I don't go around passing out ministry cards of CDs to other ministers, you know, trying to get in a venue. Right. I just remember my assignment. And if that door God wants open for me, he will open that door. Right. Because you you have to you you, you have to remember what whatever you play with on the bottom will play with you on the top. Mm. So if God lets you in on the bottom, stay with him to the top. Because no matter who tries to throw you out the top, if God put you there, they can't do it. But if you let men let you in and let you up, they Come can on. also throw you out. Throw you out and bring <laughs> you down. Hey, hey, bring you down. Hey, Amen. We got a few more minutes okay. left on, on the hey, air man. management. A great topic. Hey, I loved it. I tell you. Yes, sir. You yes, know, we said we was going to have some fun. Talent, yes, sir. gifts. Yes. You know, we learned a lot about that. You and know? You're right. And and real and real quick, Apostle. Some things too you find in the bloodline. I'm third generation preacher. Yes. You know, and my kids fourth generation preacher. And and, and it's something about some talents are genetic where you can play football, daddy played football, you see that daddy mm-hmm. box, you box. But when it comes to the gifts of God. You know, through relationship, God has to impart that into you. Yes. I, I remember when my dad and mom was trying to get me to sell my car. I was called to preach at 16. I didn't mm. do it till I was 32. Mm. I said, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> I just didn't want to do it. But God said, you're predestined, which means God chose for you. That's another topic. What does predestined mean? Right. <laughs> but 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 I tried, they would try to get me in place to like play like I was preaching. Mm-hmm. You can't fake preaching. Either you got it or you, you don't. don't. <laughs> right, and and you can't fake teaching. No, you can't fake it. You know, and when you that word of wisdom, wisdom, when that word of wisdom comes on you, come on, it's on you. It's you, on you. Well, I I hear things all the time, and I know exactly what to pull up in the word. Absolutely. To either rebuke it or to sustain it. Or sustain. It, it just comes right in my head. Amen. Hey, that's it. You know, and then that's a, that's that that's the that's a gift that God gave me. Mm-hmm. Is wisdom. Amen. You know, I know when you, I know when you, I know it's a joker. Yeah. I just turn a joker a mile away. That's right. You know, just by the words that come out of his mouth. That's it. Because the Bible said it's what comes out of a man that, that defiles a man. That's, That's right. right. Now, so go ahead, eat all the pork you want, Super Saiyan. I know your spirit. That ain't going to fight. I know your spirit. That's right. You're going to go in your stomach and I'll be dry. That's it. Okay. <laughs> come on. Now, now open your mouth. <laughs> That's the now I'm yours. That's and I gotta say, Super Saint, she's still Super Saint. She's she still saying she the same. With you. That's she it. rocking me. She rock with you. <laughs> she hanging with me. She take them challenges. I be she take them challenges. I said, Nah, I want you to say about she a dad. Look at what you said about a dad. Yeah. My daddy would go to you. God yeah. Yeah. She, she no problem. I she handle know. those affairs. Yeah, she do. She handle my affairs. That's yeah. right. She handle. Amen. So. 
lead us to, to Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. Well, first of all, Apostle, we thank you for this opportunity. And those who may be watching, who don't know Christ as their personal Savior, it's no time like the present. The Bible said, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord, confess with your mouth and believe them with your heart that God has forgiven you for your sins. And then by faith, believe that now God is the Savior and the head of your life. But don't just let it stop there. Get into a Bible teaching, Bible believing church so that you can become a vessel to serve and to learn. Amen. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, you have Amen. enjoyed, yes. my friends and yours, Tragedy yes. and Triumph. Today's Amen. topic was gifts versus talents. See Amen. you next week. Amen. God bless you, Apostle. Enjoy that. Yes, Lord. Good show. Good show.